The next time you're asked to bring a dish to a gathering, you'll want to have this recipe on hand. Executive Chef Andrew Powers from D. Lincoln Steak Bar presents cast iron chorizo corn. All right, Chef, take it away. All right, this ladies, is a side how you dish. Doing? What yes, do we have right? here? This is a side dish. So, um, chorizo corn, one of the big, big sellers at D. Lincoln Steak Bar. Uh, we sell a, a ton of this every night. So, I started earlier. What I did is I shucked a little bit of corn, fresh corn that we use. Mm -hmm. We right. shuck, we saute it with a little garlic and shallots. Okay, then we add a little cream and lime juice. And what I need you to do yes. is I have a hot pan here. Yeah. Got a little oil. Let's put a little oil in the pan. What kind of oil are you using here? We use a little mixture of canola oil and olive oil. Okay. And I this is that. this is spicy chorizo. You can spicy buy it at any uh, um, specialty market. Yeah, that Whole Foods has it. Here the sizzle. Yeah. That's right, sizzle. You know it's gonna be good when it sizzles like that. We get ours from nice. Adam Brothers in Chicago. So we'll saute that up a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and get it nice and brown. Oh, can you smell? No, you can't smell, but it really smells good. Yes, it's unbelievable. So after that's nice and brown, we just kind of stir that up, get it brown. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. yes, yes chef. Yes, chef. Yeah. All right. We got you, chef. Are we being good sous chefs for you? You're the best. You're the best. You guys uh, looking for any jobs? I need some sous chefs. We're I, we're, I don't we're think I would keep my really jobs really at all. We're expanding rapidly, so I need some yes, sous chefs to help us. Tell us about your location. So we have one, our first one was in Howell Street, which okay. is down in the Quadrangle right. in Uptown. Um, and then we opened Plano. And Plano was probably the best idea that we had for, for D. Lincoln State Bar. Right. It's in Dee's backyard, so Dee has uh, lived in Plano for you know a, a number of years. Right. So well it, known. Yeah, it really identified what we, uh, what Dee does best, which is steaks. Yeah. Prime steaks is what she does, and what, what her repertoire is, is is making great steaks. And we have a little bit of gourmet burgers that kind of highlight that as well. All right. Sounds so good. It's, so are we ready for this Yes, yet? we can put that in there. Okay. I like this pan. So am I yeah. putting the corn in here? You're putting the corn in there? Not all of it. Just oh, not just all of it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. There you go. Had you told me. A couple, yeah. couple more spoonfuls We don't want a little chorizo <laughs> with our corn. Want the whole <laughs> thing. We want the perfect yeah. mixture. Yeah, that's How's right. That? Do, I, do, I, do one more in there. One more? All right. Yeah, give me a little more cream. All I make is pancakes. Okay, here we go. I bet they're good. Now we're going to get this all delicious. mixed together. <laughs> So and we'll then what we're going to do... Mix that together. <laughs> Have so I taken over your recipe? We use, we use a really cool uh, cast iron dish. This okay, is this the is, best um, thing. First of all, please tell everybody where you got this. We got this from a company called Lodge, and we actually get it from it's a Lodge. prepare... Yep. I just bought the biggest skillet from Lodge. It's yeah, they're huge. unbelievable. They have this a great, is the cutest great little thing ever. So it's very heat resistant. Amy wants okay. to love it. I just love pots and pans and gadgets. Okay. We just heat that up in the oven a little bit, you just do? get a little okay. bit of heat on it, and then we'll pour that chorizo corn oh, right on top. Oh, golly. <clears throat> Just pour it right in there. Um, chef, you did not bring enough of these so little good. bowls for everybody, <laughs> FYI. I knew if I brought five of them, I would only leave with one, so that's I right. decided to bring know. one. <laughs> I would, no, I'd, I'd take all of them, actually. Yeah, that's right. Awesome. So, and then we just put a little fresh cilantro, right for color, right on top. Oh, that's gorgeous. There's a couple nice. tasting spoons. So this is for me, right. or should I share? Yeah, you have to share with me. <laughs> all right, can't hog fine. It. So it's got a little lime juice in there for some kick right at the end. Mm. That chorizo's got some salty mm -hmm. and some spicy Bye. for the corn. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Excuse you. <laughs> no, that is good. Would so, you yeah. like to try your own recipe? Uh, no, you want to do it I would love to. Would you let's, like let's, that? All, let's all try it together. Right? How often mm. do you actually right. get to eat your stuff in the kitchen? It's hard. It's hard. You know, I'm working so I run around and I'm, you know, I, I kind of pick at what right. I it's what really I see, bad. so I don't you really get hungry at the end of the day. You take spoonfuls and you walk off. You take another spoonful and you walk off. It's a very interesting process to me how these chefs work. They just, like, you don't really sit down for a full meal, but you really eat all day. I eat constantly. But I never sit down, you're right, I never sit down at a table and have a, See, Lacey, you know, a full we can't meal. I, know, kitchen. I know, Well, okay, so I want to go back to your locations, because like you said, you are expanding. Yes, ma'am. He's known for steaks. So, so the us. next one we're going to be in Fort Worth, which mm -hmm. Dee is extremely oh, excited yeah. about. You know, That's she, awesome. you know, mm. she has Shocked. a great market. A lot of people love her and know her in Fort Worth. She's Absolutely. very excited to be there. Mm -hmm. We'll be there before the stockyard. All right. That was a big thing that what she did when, you know, she, she had Del Frisco that We're she with the steer and everything and she would get the champion steer. So that mm -hmm. would be good. And then after the in at the end of the first quarter We'll be open in Highland Park, which oh, is going to be right at the end of March. Wow, y'all are really expanding. So we're very excited. Yeah. And we're really very busy. Big areas. Yeah, That's yeah. Very awesome. busy. So we'll be, we'll be real busy in uh, 2015. Well, and, by the way, we're in Highland Park. Uh, it's going to be um, right there in the old Laduni space over there. Oh, in okay. okay. Perfect. Yep. Um, we didn't like this at all, so y'all want to get over there and order some yourself because it was fantastic. Absolutely. Well, thanks for cooking well, with me, ladies. Well, thank you, Chef. It was wonderful. Great to awesome. meet you. Thank awesome. you. And uh, with several locations across DFW, there's bound to be a D. Lincoln Steak Bar near you. To get the recipes made here today, just log on to thebroadcasttv.com. And when we return... 
It's that time of year when you, sorry, when we warm up our homes with that gorgeous fall colors. Ooh, those are pretty. From Reese to centerpieces, McShawn Flores has terrific tips